What if I want to apply certain specific properties only to a segment of my particle object? For example, I want every 12th particle to have double radius. Or I want every 4th particle to be connected to the mouse cursor with a semi-transparent line to create the sun rays effect. This very simple technique allows us to gain even more control over the code base and it can be used to achieve many unique particle effects. This is a bonus experimental section of Particle Systems Masterclass. You can download the base source code from part 1 and code along with me today. Or to get the maximum value, you can watch part 1 first to make sure you understand every line of code. It's up to you. The full playlist is linked below. We can create a gradient background with CSS using the linear gradient CSS function. We can define its direction. And if I just pass it two colors like this, they will default to this top to bottom alignment, which is exactly what I want. We are also creating gradient on canvas, which is a completely different technique. I just want two color breakpoints at zero and at one offset. As you can see, the white to black gradient is affecting the fill of our particles. We can change starting and ending x and y coordinates here to change the angle and direction of the gradient. I want it to go from top to bottom as well, so from coordinates 0, 0 to coordinates 0 and canvas height. I want white and gold. I will assign this gradient color to stroke style as well to color the lines. I can still push particles around. I increase friction force by reducing this value. Yes, I am reducing push force by 20% per animation frame now. I also want to reduce mouse influence radius. 150. I think 120 will be good for this effect. I want to apply specific properties only to certain particles. Let's say I want to do something only for every third particle. How would we implement that? Here inside create particles method, I have a for loop that runs 300 times. And as this index increases, we are creating 300 particle objects. I can pass this increase in index value as the second argument to particle class constructor. And up here, I make sure the constructor expects that index as an argument. And inside, I convert it into a class property. So now my particles have indexes from 0 to 300 as we create them one by one. When we have this, we can do so many things. I could, for example, say, do this for every 10th particle. If particle's index is divisible by 10 with zero remainder, the remainder operator returns the remainder left over when one operand is divided by a second operand. 13 remainder 5 is 3, because 10 is divisible by 5 and the remainder to 13 is 3. 20 remainder 10 is 0, because 20 is divisible by 10 and there is no remainder. So when particle index is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and so on, this remainder check will be true. These numbers are divisible by 10 with a remainder of 0, so for every 10th particle, run this if statement code block. This if statement will evaluate to true and the code inside this code block will run. For example, I want every 10th particle to be much larger, to have a radius of 50 pixels. Or maybe I want every 50th particle to have a random radius between 20 and 30 pixels. Every 100th particle to be between 40 and 50 pixels. This technique gives us more control over our code base. I hope it makes sense. So, what if I want every fifth particle to be connected to the current mouse coordinates? If index of this particle is divisible by 5 with a zero remainder, so for particles with index of 0, 5, 10, 15, 20 and so on, we will draw a line from coordinates of this particle to coordinates of mouse stored on the main effect class. And we stroke that line. Nice. Notice that the lines keep updating and moving with mouse and with the attached particles. Interesting. I call this effect sun rays. On the first page load, we set mouse coordinates to 0, 0, so we get this. 
What if the initial mouse coordinates are in the middle horizontally? Hmm. Or maybe they are on the bottom vertically? Or we can put them in the middle to get this on the first page load. I want to reduce the opacity of these lines, so I will set global alpha to 0 0.4. Now we can see how Canvas state works. Because we changed global alpha property, it now affects all shapes drawn on Canvas. I want the reduced opacity to only affect the lines, connecting particles and mouse. To limit the changes to Canvas state to a specific set of draw calls, we can isolate that area by wrapping the code inside built-in save and restore Canvas methods. Now, this global alpha property affects only these few lines of code and it has no effect on other drawing code inside our project. I try global alpha 0.6 maybe. What if I want every second particle to be connected with a line so particle objects with index 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and so on. Or maybe only particles with index 0, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250 and 300. <laughs> how about every fourth particle? So this is how you can apply certain properties or run certain drawing code only for specific particle objects. Can you come up with any other creative ways of how to use this technique? Do you want to see other ways how you can transform and modify this code base? Check this out.